In this video, we will reconstruct a plan drawing of Tadao Andos Azuma house. First, make sure the units in Rhino are set to millimeters. You can see what units are used in the bottom of the screen. To change units, right click the text and select Unit Settings. Let's bring up the plan drawing. The building is made up from three equally sized rectangles. Draw a rectangle of 4700 by 3300 mm in the top view. Use the zoom extend or the CE command and copy the rectangle two times. Notice how I use the corner points and object snapping to position the rectangles precisely. Now offset the rectangle 75 mm on both sides to get a wall thickness of 150 mm. By right clicking you can launch the command you just used. This will speed up the drawing process. Unfortunately you have to apply the both sides option every time. Now draw a rectangle covering the boundary of all three rectangles. Then delete the leftover rectangles. The windows are 330 mm wide and 150 mm apart. Draw the rectangle and move it according to the plan. That's 245 mm to the left of the center line. Now copy the rectangle and move it so it's 150 mm apart from the first rectangle. Use the mirror tool to place the remaining window openings. We no longer need the center rectangles, so they can be deleted. Now trim the walls with the window openings. By dragging right to left, you trim away anything you cross. This is a lot faster than clicking individual curves. Select and join all curves and join them into a pulley curve. Create the window from a number of rectangles. The window frame is 30 mm wide and 75 mm deep. You should also indicate the glass panel by a line. Group the window and copy it to the other window openings. The doors to the courtyard are 750 mm wide. I start by drawing the door frame which is 75 by 750 mm. In the plane drawing we cut through the door, so draw two rectangles and position them in the top and the bottom of the door frame.
draw a line connecting the two rectangles, then rotate it 90 degrees. This will be the door. Finally, make an arc connecting the door and the door frame. Arcs are always drawn counterclockwise. Delete the door frame and group the remaining curves. In order to position the door in the middle of the wall, we need a guideline for snapping. Select the guideline and the door group and move them by snapping to the midpoints. Then move the door to the left so it's flush with the wall. Delete the guideline and mirror the door using the midpoint of the courtyard wall. In order to trim the walls, we need a few additional lines where the walls will be cut. Now trim the walls. Draw the window between the wall and the door. Make a group and mirror the window. The door to the bathroom is only 660 mm wide. Draw a door using the technique shown earlier. Position the door in the top right corner of the bathroom. This will determine the length of the wall separating the kitchen and the bathroom. Use object stabbing to draw a rectangle representing the wall. Move the door in place and move the wall and the bathroom door 1650 mm to the left. Trim the walls and join them into a polyline. Now make the holes for the bathroom windows. The windows are 520 mm wide and 440 mm apart. Trim the walls with the window openings. Join the curves and create windows using the technique previously shown. The living room has a porch. A wall blocks the view from the street but allows light to enter the living room. Draw a rectangle 150 by 1320 mm.
center it with the wall and move it 1000 millimeters into the room. Make a hole 800 millimeters wide in the wall to the street. Trim the wall, close the curves, and join them into poly curves. Now create the door and the window on the porch. Remember to group both the door and the window. The living room has a built-in bench made from exposed concrete. The bench is 400 mm deep and roughly 3400 mm wide. The stair is made from 11 steps. Each step is 775 mm wide and 230 mm deep. Start by drawing a single step 230 by 675 mm, then add the 100 mm concrete border. Move the step 1150 mm from the right wall and copy the step 8 times so you end up with the 9 steps total. Now draw the wall underneath the stairs. You will need a few extra lines before trimming the wall. Select the lines that make up the wall and join them into a pulley line. Draw a diagonal line through the last step. This indicates that the stairs continue above the plan drawing. Split the last step with the diagonal line and delete the parts to the left. Extend the wall under the stairs. First select the boundary, the diagonal, then enter, and then the lines you wish to extend. To finalize the stairs, add an arrow from the first to the last step. This will indicate the direction of the stairs. Add the door to the stairs using the technique shown earlier. Above the courtyard is a bridge connecting the upper floors. This is a major feature that must be part of the plan drawing. Because the bridge is above the drawing plan, it will be made from dashed lines, but for now we'll just use another layer. The bridge is 750mm wide, plus a 150mm wall on each side. The plateau at the end of the stairs is 1020mm wide. Double click the red layer to make it the default layer. Now draw a line spanning the entire courtyard. Use the door frames as reference as the doors are 750 mm wide. Move the lines 150 mm apart each to include the wall on the bridge. Add the extra lines above the windows to the courtyard. Draw the line for the plateau and move it 1020 mm to the right. Trim the red curves.
One extra detail is the light well above the porch. It must be part of the plan as well. The light well is 450 by 900 millimeters. Draw a rectangle and position it centered and flush to the outer wall as shown. To finalize the plan, we will add a few details. Double click the purple layer to make it the default layer. Then draw lines above the window on the outer wall. Create a step 800 by 150 millimeters in front of the porch. Select secondary elements like doors and windows and assign them to a blue layer. The same goes for the stairs. Now complete the top floor using the same techniques as shown in this video. When both plans are complete, you can move on to assigning line thickness to individual layers.